So back on the same job, um, did a video on a week or so ago, and um, we've just finished off the other half of the job now. So what we've done, we've separated the left-hand boiler from the low-loss header, and we've removed the secondary pump here, and we've got half this building. Remember, this is two massive, great big commercial boilers before, and we had um, uh, but one of these pumps on each boiler. So this was a 25100 just circulating from the boiler into the low loss header. And then we had the twin head, 25100 twin heads, which are now sitting over here. Look, got a, a pile of pumps. We don't, these are the pumps we've taken out. Are they two or three grand each or something silly? One, two, three, four, four, five pumps. And a couple of ones from the underfloor heating. So we changed the twin head for this one single head. So this is running, um, it's quite a big place this, it's running all the underfloor. We've removed the underfloor heating pumps from the manifolds. So this is now running the, the uh, two floors of what's quite a large building on underfloor um, and was replaced. So I guess that's three, three pumps out for that one pump. And all the radiators, I think there's two floors of radiators are being run without any additional pump directly from the internal boiler pump. We've just been round commissioning and checked and everything's running quite nicely on that, no problems at all. We've removed the balancing valves. There was a lot of these balancing valves in the system, uh, commissioning valves. These were all fully open, so never been commissioned or if they were at one point, someone had undone it all. So, um, anyway, we've removed those because they were all leaking. Re reused some of these valves. Most of these were off the job already. So removed the double head pump from there. So it's just amazingly thinned down. Two domestic boilers. Probably, probably one of them could do the job, but it was a little bit on the on the cusp. So the fact they've got the two hot water cylinders and they could have a lot going on here in the Jesuit centre. So um, they could require a lot of hot water. So we've gone for the two boilers and it allows us to have good control of both cylinders. And uh, that's it, so we're just about to start the insulation. I thought I'd show it before we do the insulation. Although our insulation work will be beautiful, I think the pipes always look prettier and shinier. So um, please, if you're not subscribed already, uh, give me a like, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And um, that's it, so I hope you like that and I hope it helps.